Hey everybody, this is Rudy from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bypass the password prompt that you get when logging into your Mac computer. If your computer is taken with you like a laptop or something and you have it out and about all the time, you probably don't want to do this. But if your computer is home most of the time or all the time, and it's only you that, or trusted family members that have access to the computer, you don't need to enter that password every time you want to turn on your computer. It can be a little bit of a nuisance, and I'm going to show you how to bypass that and make it real easy for you. Okay, I happen to be using the Catalina operating system in this case, and luckily they do keep this procedure relatively the same throughout the years, so this video should be good on down the line if you're looking at it sometime later. All right, so without further ado, let's dive right in. Welcome to my desktop. Um, so here's what I usually do to uh, disable the password on login. I usually will leave a password in place for important changes to the computer and whatnot, uh, but this will just disable it every time it logs in. Um, I'm also going to show you how to permanently delete the password if you really want to. Um, but first thing is make sure your file vault is turned off, okay? Go up to the corner and click on the Apple, then System Preferences, Security and Privacy, and then File Vault. All right, you're going to want to turn off the file vault. As you can see here, mine is already off. While you're here in security, go back to the general tab and make sure that this disable automatic login field right here isn't checked. Also, if you don't want to enter a password when the computer falls asleep and then wakes up again, you're going to want to uncheck this box right here and you should get a pop-up like this. Just enter your password. Click Turn Off Screen Lock. And then in this case, I would check Keep Using the Keychain. Next, uh, you're going to want to move back to the System Preferences main menu. Okay. Click on Users and Groups. And now click the lock so you can make changes and enter the current password in the pop-up. All right, now if you want to permanently erase the password, um, just click on this Change Password box right here and enter your old password in the top field. I'm not going to do it. Um, after doing that, just leave the new password and the Verify box is blank and then click Change Password here at the bottom. So now anytime you get a prompt asking for the Mac password, just hit Enter and leave it blank. Uh, but I'm going to leave my password in place because I still want the computer to boot directly into the desktop. So click Login Options and then click on this drop-down box. Select your account if it's not selected already. And that should be about it, but I do have a couple of notes. Um, you might have trouble if your iCloud password and your Mac password are the same. If you run into this problem, just change the uh, Mac password. And also, if the login keeps asking for the password after you've done all these things, try changing the Mac password. Mine gave me a fit until I changed the password, and then it started acting right. Okay, thanks for watching.